Okay, so um, I'm doing a video that's very different from a lot of videos I do. So I have just installed a brass adapter and it's a swivel adapter and it goes three eighths under the kitchen sink to a splitter that takes three eighths out and three eighths back up to the faucet. Now this is the first part of a project and I've got a brand new braided line installed up through here and right here normally found on the top I needed it as a washer luckily it was a two-pack I've got a chrome adapter that's going through what would be the soap hole or the sprayer hole for a traditional sink with a separate sprayer. So originally this sink was a traditional sink with a sprayer and then we took the sprayer out, we put the soap holder in and uh, put in a new faucet and then we've been looking for a portable dishwasher for a while and could not find one. Um, you know, on the cheap, because wanted to find something as a bargain somebody was getting rid of. Uh, finally found one, so I needed to figure out a way to hook it up since there was a fancy sink in here that will no longer do what would normally happen with a portable dishwasher. Now, ignore the mess. There's a lot of junk here, and since I've been working on the sink, junk in the sink. Kind of ignore all that so the reason why i'm doing all this is because i've got one of those fancy new faucets that's got the sprayer built in you no longer hook your connection here for a dishwasher so i needed a solution now everybody has solutions out there for different things and now that i've got that kind of set I can square it up a little bit it's tight but it'll still move if you want it to so that is a hot water valve for your um, washing machine in your laundry and a nice chrome adapter to make it look nice so now instead of a useless hole with a soap dispenser that really doesn't work all that well. In the hole, we've got a valve. It's an air style valve. And as you can see, I got water coming out of it. It will spray if I turn it on full blast. Um, and we don't want to make a mess, but we do want to test it out, so. We can test it this way. Bear with me. Yep, plenty of water. So I didn't get a bath. And it does work. Pardon this video, it's awfully soppy. And on the watermelon seeds that was drying, it found its way into the sink. So, this valve is going to go to an adapter. They make a half inch PT to traditional water spigot adapter that can be used to um, hook up traditional washing machines. I'm gonna order one of those evidently. I'm gonna get it from Amazon. Um, this is a common adapter found at Home Depot. The hose, Home Depot, the splitter, Home Depot, uh, just so people know where I got all that at. And um, I'll make another video as soon as I get the adapter and show you how that works. Plus, the other benefit of having this faucet on the sink is if you do want to clean or mop or anything like that, you can take your regular uh, water hose and screw onto there. Short piece of water hose, reach out and get to the floor. And then you can put it in a bucket and uh, fill a water bucket full of soapy water and not have to worry about getting in the sink 
of course with the adapter on the sink i guess you could probably do it that way too but now you have an option to just run hot water from another valve and um, and and do some functioning uh, utility work like that